Howdy folks, welcome back to Duty's Daggers. We're back in the truck here early morning. And I just got in my Asher Little Buddy fixed blade yesterday. Um, I wanna do a video showing this thing off. Um, so far I really like it. We're gonna do a cut test and all that stuff very soon, but here's just a initial impressions. Now this was a seconds purchase. So um, it had some sort of cosmetic defect. Um, so they knocked the price down to $65. Uh, they're normally, I think like 120 around there, which is still a good price, but 65, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, they might still have some, I'll link their website down below. Um, yeah, I couldn't pass it up. The blade steel is S90V um, G10 handle with a Kydex sheath. Yeah, 65 bucks all day. And I can't find the flaw. Cannot find it, so it's here somewhere, but you know, not very readily visible, that's for sure. Um, so got a, a, a really nice clip here too. So this is kind of set up for pocket carry. Um, stick that on the seam of your pocket. You'll have about this much sticking out of your pocket. Um, you may be able to move that up to this hole to get it a little bit deeper, but it's really not that bad. Um, it's a pretty average amount sticking out of your pocket. It's really easy to just grab. Um, the sheath is really nice and, uh, here we go. pull the windows up. Uh, the sheath has a nice click to it also. Really nice retention. Doesn't rattle in there at all. Um, you got a little point here to push off with your thumb. Really nice click. Um, it is on the smaller side, but it's not small. Uh, the blade is just over three inches, about three and an eighth. And then overall, it's about seven inches. Um, so pretty good pocket size. Definitely get a, easily get a full grip on the handle. Now this, uh, they have different options for the handle. Um, I went with the G10 and it's really nice G10. It's not just like they cut out some G10 and slapped it on there. It's uh, it's milled, you see there's a, there's a track milled all the way around the edge. And then in the middle of that, there's this these kind of ridges milled in. And it feels very nice in hand and looks really nice too. It's, it's nice and grippy, you know, uh, this way, but not this way, which is good. You know, you don't want the knife slipping out of your hand. It's great, man. I really like the handles. Um, the blade stock is, eh, it's not super thin, but it's not super thick either. Pretty average. Um, behind the edge feels pretty average too. Maybe around eh, 15 to 20 thousandths. So that's good. The jimping right here is pretty grippy. Um, really nice blade shape. Uh, I like this blade shape. Just a nice drop point. I like it a lot. Very versatile. You could do everything you need to do with this blade. Um, got a little bit of straight and then you know, gradual up to this drop down tip. Just It looks nice and it's going to be real functional too. The uh, sharpening toil and plunge grind was done well. Look at that. Pretty tight uh, radius on the plunge grind and large enough choil so that you get separation between that and where the edge ends right there so that's great you got the uh, Astro Knives um, logo on there but they did it with a kind of a faint etch it's not like super black which I really like it's um it's almost not even visible in some lights and then you turn it and you can see it better in other lights I like it a lot um, if you're gonna mark on the blade, I would, I prefer this. Um, it's not like just coming at you, you know, with this crisp, super black logo. It's just kind of more subtle. Um, the edge you came with is nice and sticky sharp. I mean, even for the full price, which was, I, I forget what it was. Um, not too bad. It was under 150, I know that. I believe. Um, again, it'll be linked below. You can go check. But even at the full price, I think this is a pretty good purchase. And, uh, you know, we'll do the testing and all that to see um, how this S90, or, uh, S90V does. Uh, as far as I know, they have a good history of doing well with, with their heat treatments. Um, shouldn't be any problem with that. It's really nice and comfortable in hand. Um, these scales are contoured, by the way. 
Got a spot for a lanyard in the back here too. I like it a lot, man. I really like it. You know, um, when I first saw it in photos, I was like, eh, it's, I mean, it's pretty good looking. Um, and then uh, my buddy Roger sent me a photo of his. And once I saw that, I decided to grab one because uh, number one, the price, the second price, 65 bucks could pass that up. Um, also in the photos on the website, it, it made the blade to handle ratio look kind of weird. But once I saw it uh, in a, a different photo, and now that I'm seeing it in person, um, it doesn't look that it doesn't look off to me anymore. I don't know something about the photo on the website made it look weird to me. Um, but yeah, I mean it's you know it's real simple, not a lot of crazy lines and finger choils and you know anything going on. Very very simple design, neutral handle, classic drop point blade shape, but it's just done well. It's, they they did all these things well. Sharpening choil, the comfortable handle, you know, the grind on the blade is, you know, full flat, should be slicey, uh, good cutter. So that's about it. Just a nice short video on a fixed blade. Not uh, as much to talk about with fix ba fixed blades as uh, there is with folders. Um, it's less going on, you know. So yeah, I'm going to carry this around for uh, a couple days, kind of get a feel for it. And... Uh, We'll do the cut test, see how it performs. So there you go. Again, it'll be linked down below. Um, see if there's probably not any seconds left, but go check. There might be. Um, and uh, yeah, I would say go for it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Like the video, please, before you leave. And I'll see you next time.